Sisters of the Lay painter Jean Michel Basquiat display never before seen pieces of their brother's work for fans and art lovers to see. The exhibit titled Jean Michel Basquiat King Pleasure gives visitors an inside view of his personal life. For me, this exhibit was not about a painter, it was about a brother, a son, um, a cousin, and that meant more to me than this artist. Basquiat is one of the most celebrated painters in the neo-expressionism movement, a self-taught street artist that became world-renowned for his graffiti-like pieces that gained popularity in the 1980s. His work explored his black identity through the use of figures, symbols, and words, themes that resonate in today's current social climate. Visitors walking through the exhibit hear from his sisters Lisanne and Janine. We swim every day. We went and we did <laughs> every single day. On their family dynamic. They include life-size replicas of his childhood home in Park Slope and his studio, giving fans an intimate look at his life. He brought every influence in from, from everywhere, but it didn't feel like he was affected by the influences the way the rest of us are. Most of the pieces are untitled, allowing visitors to interpret what the pieces mean to them, as well as to the artist, who died of a drug overdose in 1988 at the age of 27. So they put his life into context and his, his childhood and his beliefs into context so it didn't explain what every piece of art meant, which I think is really important for the understanding of it. Personal photos of Basquiat smiling as a child, partying with famous people like Grace Jones, reveals a much softer side, something most people didn't get to see. And he's a person, and I think his family, his sisters really try to humanize him like that. So take that in. Don't take in, you know, $100 million artists take in a man going through life, made art related to people. The exhibit comes at a time when paintings from this era like Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe recently sold for $195 million. Visitors are able to buy tickets now through the fall. In Chelsea, Darius Johnson, New York City News Service.